Hey guys, since a few people asked for it, I figured I'd go over what is going to be brand new in the Genshin Impact 1.1 update, uh, which is now, I believe, coming out on November 11th, just for everyone to know. I did say I was going to make a, another video on this from my previous video. If you guys want to check that out, I uploaded that today, which is the new five-character Genshin glitch that just came out. That'll be in the top of the description if you guys want to check it out. And as always, if you guys like this video, please drop a like and subscribe, or let me know if you guys like these types of videos, or if you guys are one of my usual subs and you guys don't like this type of content let me know i'm just trying to do more stuff and upload more stuff on my youtube so without further ado we're going to go and check out the actual uh 1.1 trailer right here this got announced so let's go and launch this up and we'll go over all the new things all the new characters and all the new updates uh mostly from the reddit thread so Boats are also link that down in the description below as well and, forth, and those that come across leo tend to stay a while so it is where many things come to settle it's very dramatic. This I like it. Just one we've seen so far. <gasps> the Fatui. They're attacking the patient. Hey, ooh. Let's see. More cutscenes, more whip cutscenes. I'm down. Did he be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? Farewell, old friend. Cuz I believe is the part 2 for all the story too. It's nice. This whole area is beautiful. I am the least adept with the bow. And that is I also still hate that this guy's name is literally Chill Day. I don't want to call him Child. Shouldn't Chill Day to me. Down. I don't care. Nothing can be accomplished without rules or standards. We have this broke bitch over here. See, I hate playing as the Earth characters. I feel like they're just never that useful. Diona seems cool. I like this waifu too. This is cool. Like cat girl lollies? Why not? I'm dead. Ooh, I would say kind of cool, kind of cool. I've been saving up all my primogens for a new uh, banner anyway, so I am A-OK -okay with all of that. Let's go now into the actual uh, Reddit thread, which they kind of politely put everything all together. So shout out to this Reddit thread. I'll link it down in the description down below. So basically, we just saw the trailer. The new characters are Zhang Li, which if you guys are decently into the AR, that's the Earth character uh, you guys saw, saw in the uh, stuff. And for the story, he's kind of funny. He's always broke, so I, I kind of like him. Uh, we're gonna call him Chill Day as always. I like his character design, just hate his name. I think he'll be a fun character to go and play. Uh, both these characters looked really cute. I really like Diona. I'm gonna call her that just because I'm sure so you guys control me anyway. Uh, that's a very cute character. My full on lolly squad of Klee, Chi Chi, and all them. Uh, I'm excited to go and add that up to you. I really like this character too as well. I don't even want to try to even pronounce the name. I'm, I'm not even going to be close. I already know. <laughs> and apparently from this Reddit thread, they were saying that Gan Yu might actually be the new five star, which honestly, this waifu, pretty good. He knows the bobbies, so I'm down with that. Nothing wrong with that, boys. Uh, I kind of feel like Zhang Li is going to be the five star, though, if anything, if I had to go pick and choose. So there are going to be another thing as well, as you guys can see. The actual story chapter, which we also saw in the trailer, it seems like it's going to be finished up in the update 1.1. And also have all the new characters also be shown up in the next update on top of it, which I'm also kind of cool. I would also love another weekly boss as well. They just need one, but they also need to go fix up the resin issues if they even want me to be trying to grind out these weekly bosses. The reputation thing seemed very interesting, and I think this will add a lot of new content. I'll show you guys all the stuff here. Where basically they have you add more dailies and weeklies They kind of go and sign on to the actual day itself. So basically kind of seems like maybe more time for rewards or anything. I love the idea of bounties because you see these pop up on the world map anyway. I love the request too as well. You also see those on the world map. Uh, the world explanation is kind of cool. That might be for the um, um, like all the jewels you see throughout both the areas for uh, stamina, maybe for towers, maybe for uh, I'm not sure actually exactly, but uh, I like the idea of it. Maybe even chest. I can maybe see that being tied into chest. And I do like the monster quest too as well. Just you have the catalog. I also like the UI for it as well. I think both these look really nice, really cool. I think they seem cool and kind of add a little bit more uh, stuff to do every week to encourage you to go and sign on, which I think is very good. I think it's needed right now for Genshin to even just encourage people to keep on playing the game and getting updates, getting promo gens, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, also cool to go and see. You can also get some uh, French requests up in here too as well. And also new NPCs, which I'm assuming you maybe spend the reputation on getting stuff and doing stuff. Maybe it gives you uh, drops, maybe for weapons, maybe for gear, maybe for, I don't know, maybe just for dailies, for primo gens and stuff. Cool that they can add more stuff over here. So apparently it's going to be both in two new locations. New wings, which is cool. We only have like, I think, three right now, maybe more. Name cards, food recipes, and all this stuff. Very, very cool. And yeah, you also get all these other cool features as well, as you guys can see. 
which I think is cool. Uh, they did also go show in the trailer, which is this golden palace. So I think that may just be a new area, more section uh, for the secondary area, which I'd be down with. I love the area. I love design for all this stuff. I think it's very, very cool. And they just have to keep on adding more stuff for us to want to keep on playing the game. So I'm very down. Uh, they did also add a new mob. Which is something for me I think is a kind of nice because I do kind of get a little bit bored of the same mobs over and over and over again. So definitely cool to have another character for us to go and fight and try to mob up. It looks a little bit weird. It almost looks like the main like wolf-ish type character that we see everywhere, but it doesn't look too, too bad. I don't mind it. Uh, I like the idea of a new quick slot. That seems awesome. Very, very down with this. Also, the mobile layout is always so weird. Uh, I'm very much down with that, boys. Very much down with that. I almost never eat, so a new food bag would be very, very cool. And it did also look like they also added a new event, uh, which kind of seems like it might be like the old event that we had, the uh, run by the Elemental Guardian. So honestly, that kind of seems like the same thing. That was very easy promo gens, and it does look like you get adventure experience, which might be good for just getting better AR, and maybe you get cool updates, maybe different gear, maybe uh, primo gens. I think you got like 600 primo gens from the previous event for only doing it for like an hour. So honestly, kind of worth it. And one of the major big things I think is the free official. Now, Fischl as a character is fucking fantastic, so I'm a really big fan of Fischl. I wouldn't mind maxing her out, and I think she's really good for the M Elemental as well. So, unless we already have, like, six Fischls, then GG. <laughs> I don't know what to I tell you at that point. But I do like the idea of the reputation rewards to get the wings. I like the idea of getting Fischl again, because I have a few of her. I wouldn't mind trying to max out the Consolation. And that kind of seems like about everything from the actual uh, event in the 1.1, which I think is kind of cool. They've had a lot of cool, cool stuff. This is a screenshot from the new event and everything. And uh, yeah, also there is a redeem code. I think they did also mention too as well. If you guys want to go and activate that, you guys are welcome to as long as you're over AR10. And uh, apparently they did also not mention anything with the resin changes, which sucks. I'm really, really going to be sad about that, honestly. I really wish they would update the resin. We should make a separate video for that, in all honesty, so I can keep on playing Genshin. I love Genshin, but it needs so many changes to make it better. And then also, um, as you can see, there's also no news for the character banners, but this is a gacha game. No matter what, there's going to be a banner. So I'd be kind of in the same guess as everyone else, where most likely, whenever there is going to be a new update, probably for the 1.1 update, they'll have some new banners and new characters for us to go and get. It's dumb for a gacha game to not have banners and incentivizes people to spend more money. So there's no reason not to. But overall, very cool update. I hope that was pretty concise. Uh, thankfully, very much shout out to the Reddit thread, which I will link down in the description below if you guys want to check out all this cool stuff. But I hope you guys are enjoying the Genshin updates. And if for some odd reason you guys are not, let me know. I'm just trying some new stuff on my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you guys all for watching and hanging out and chilling. Check out the other video, which is our five star, our five character video. And thank you guys all for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new. Leave a like and comment if you guys enjoy this type of stuff. And if not, let me know as well. But very cool. I'm very excited for the 1.1 update, which is coming out November 11th.